We start with some numbing and breaking news. A baby girl is dead this morning after a hit and run on the near west side. Let's get right to CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe with what we've learned so far. Mugo. Yeah, very sad story this morning. And also, as you can see from the flashing light here, the scene is still very active. A lot of cars damaged here. I want to start with the one that's closer to us here. You can see that black car badly damaged hit the other one. And then further down, there's a line of cars there that were also damaged in this crash. That girl was just a year old. Police say she and two women were in one of the cars here when they were hit. So here is a better look at the scene near Western on the near west side. Again, this is a total mess. Just check out the damage on this black car. Much of the left side is mangled. We believe this is the car of the driver who ran away from the scene. So all this happened just after midnight. The guy was driving the black Chrysler and going north on Western. First, he rear-ended a black Toyota that was double parked on the street. In that Toyota was the one-year-old girl and two women. But he didn't stop after hitting their car. Police say he kept going and hit several other cars before running away on foot. We spoke with a woman who says her car was damaged too. All we saw was light, and he just flew down. There was a parked car on the right hand. He hit that car. It was a car in front of this satin truck. He, that car hit that one, and he bounced off and hit us, and he rolled over there by the tree. So that one-year-old girl, she was taken to Stroger Hospital, but again, she did not survive. The two women in the car with her refused medical treatment. But as you can see from the scene here, the flashing light, a lot of police officers out here. The cars are still out here. It's going to take a while for them to clean up the mess that happened from this crash. And that driver is still out there. No arrests at this time. We're live on the near west side. Mugodigwe, CBS 2